the reason I chose the corner of the room is because I just had that dividing line and I just thought that there would be a story going forward in time and backward in the other, down the center. My friend told me about the Windows program. That's when I thought, oh, I can have multiple views. And, you know, so that was the big revelation. The first version of the, of the story was written um, in 1988, published in 89. Uh, it was published in Raw Magazine. It wasn't real, a real place. It was, I was trying purposely to make it um, an ambiguous space so everyone could feel connected to it, like it's their home. And then the second book, I decided really to make it more about where, the house I grew up in. And um, in between those two times, um, my parents had passed away, my oldest sister passed away, we had the family house that we had to sell, and there are a lot of personal things mixed in there. I think all that influenced the making of the book. You know, it set the tone for the book, too. I, realized only after I put all the images up on my wall in my studio and I started thinking of it as music and I could see it was like reading a score and seeing the rhythm of the book. When you're working in animation you're very conscious of each little frame and how movement works and I think in the book I, I stretched some, some movements out so you know, you turn the page and you're really slowing down to something. All the different things I do, they all inform each other. I made a little model of the room, just out of cardboard. And I was thinking of that, that the first image of the light coming in, and I was lighting it and looking at it. But as soon as I put the two walls together, I thought, oh my God, this is exactly the, the, the corner of the could be the book. Even thinking of the book as an object is connected to how I see things sculpturally. But I'm always interested in pushing the form, I, and I love always experimenting with media. I'm talking now to somebody doing a virtual reality version of the book. So I love the idea of just trying to think, rethink it and rethink it in new, new ways. You know, you have, I had, uh, there's a lot of life experience between the two and I think that my approach was so much different. You know, that house now is just an idea to me because the home doesn't exist as my home anymore. So when I look at the book, the book has that kind of feeling for me. It brings me into the, back to the space and, you know. So it's filled with memories for me.